here. A number of tickets were prepared for, I think it was 1,500, and they had a whopping turnout of 6,000 people visiting the historical park. It was a success. Here are some of the scenes that you can enjoy. We met a number of people, spoke to them, and here are their comments. How are you, how are you, how are you spending your day? Enjoying it. Yeah. What do you call it? Um, Rums and dumpling. Right. So nice why is it on the project? The project itself, what I see so far, is very good. Uh, very good, and it's uh, interesting. And it's very uh, good at a group like that. Take the initiative to do it. Something we needed a long time in the Martin. Instead of all the other things that belongs to other folks. Okay. Thank you. Free, you feel in your face. How the food? Well, you know. <laughs> I enjoy my Wilkes and dumpling. Right. And um, I think it's very nice. Right, right. They got a lot of local food here today, huh? Very much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you think Run. of the project? Very good, very good. Yeah? Very good. I think it's something that it is long overdue. Right. We need some kind of a park here and a nature park. And bringing back all the old things, you know, it's very good. Very right. good. I like your hat, man. Ah, yeah. That's part, part of it. Part of it, yeah. Part of it, yeah. That's part of it. <laughs> okay, good. Enjoy your yeah. day. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Shaping up nicely. I think it's really a nice place for um, to come and relax yeah. and enjoy some a little bit of the outdoors. We may start here in St. Martin. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I like the food. If I could get some, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got on yet? Not yet. Yeah. But I'm going for, 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 for some works and dumplings. All right, good, yeah. good. Uh -huh. I'm fat, you know. But you see, uh -huh. I'm losing some weight, right? All right, good, good. Take care. <laughs> All right. Joe, right. they're not coming to you. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Good, man. Good, good. Kind of thing. How are you enjoying it? Well, this is a real old time something and I had to come out. Yeah. But um, you really should have been here last night when they started to do the pig in the ground. Um, I, I felt sorry that you weren't there because it's a, it's a something that one missed. Huh? Yeah. Because you see from the beginning how they started the fire and leave it burn and the whole work. A bonfire like? It was like a bonfire, a real... And we had even had some music last night, so well, it was a real nice well. evening. <laughs> There's no place like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're real old fashioned stuff. What about the food? The food is great. You can't want better. Um, how the project coming? Wonderful. We are a month ahead of schedule. So we are, we are track. Right, right. How are you enjoying it? Oh, well. What do you good. think of the idea? Oh, good. Very good. All right. It's Enjoy nice. it. It's nice to be here. Right. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here on Profiles of the Winter Islands. Hi, good evening and welcome to Profiles of the Winter Islands from Emilio Wilson Estate. It's hot and windy, but we're going to talk to Patrick right after these words. Stay right here where you are. Patrick and Carlson, I want to welcome you to Profiles of the Winter Islands. This is, I believe, one of our let me term it most historical programs that we are going to do in terms of the Emilio Wilson estate in that the Emilio Wilson Historical and Cultural Park is being erected. I want to thank both of you for making the time and taking the time out to be with us here on Profiles of the Winter Islands. We'll be right back after these words. I suppose in charge of this entire project First of all, let me welcome you to Profiles of the Winter Islands and give us a description first of the total amount of land that was donated by Mr. Emilio Wilson to this very, very worthwhile cause. The total uh, area of this historical park is 16,650 square meters. That is 4.6 acres of land, or acres 4,047 square meters. And uh, this is part of the plantation that go way back from 1640. And what Mr. Richardson and I are doing here now, we are erecting and rebuilding a wattle house 
a thatch house and one of the first slave schools they had on the island. Uh -huh. And, um, is that building still on the premises? A part, part of, of it? the foundation. It is still there, there. yeah. Good. And it was shown to me, we, we, I knew it was there, but I never know the right spot. Uh -huh. It was shown to me by Emilio Wilson. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so he has it all documented upstairs, huh? Yes, he was his own of this property. He walked yeah. through all this whole property, you know, actually. Uh -huh. We are standing here by uh, the water house, the construction of a water house the big, in the beginning stage. Uh -huh. These are the special posts that we got from Guyana, uh -huh. the Wallaba post, right. to reinforce the water house, the slave house, the thatch house, and the school. But but wait, before you continue, we got to remember that this is hurricane zone. Are you building this thing to withstand hurricanes? That is why they are reinforced with special thick posts that is not going to rot, and they are so anchored that they can stand a, a category two hurricane. Oh, that's good, okay. Plus we have also our second um, 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 stick behind the door in a, 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 a category three hurricane, a stronger we're going to strap them down with a net made out of rope uh -huh. anchored in, 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 in concrete slabs underneath the ground, the ground. so they're going to stand out. Okay, okay. So you said this was the wattle house, and then we look up here, That's and that piece there, be the, thatch house. the thatch house, and then further up, we have the foundation for the school. The foundation for the school. How many children were in school at that time, you would think, approximately? I do not know. What we are busy with now um, is to find out the school teacher. We, we, we know the name of the school teacher, but I'm not going to say anything about that. No, yeah. I'm getting some information from Mr. Emilio Wilson concerning. We know it was a two-room school. Okay. And we know the size. But tell you the truth, I don't know how much, but Emilio Wilson promised me he's going to tell me approximately yeah. uh, how many children used to be. I know L.B. Scott went here, uh, Lamoni. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's two of them. And, uh, but we know more too, but we are getting certain information so that we can come as close as possible to the amount of persons, children, that used to go to school here. Good, 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 good. That is the first phase, and the second phase is going to be the rebuilding of this uh, Bailey's house. The cane mill, a handmade hill by the slaves. Handmade hill? Yeah. Uh -huh. With the foundation uh -huh. of a cane mill. Let's go to the foundation. Can you see it? Yeah. There's a handmade hill. And that's part of the foundation of what? This is where the cane mill was built on. OK. And the, the cows used to turn the mill. Ah. And from there, the funnel leads to the Bailin house. Okay, okay. Do you have any of the um, the machinery left, or was it all wooden and is it rot? Partly of it, a small part was from iron, and uh, the uh, the main part is going to be rebuilt uh, from wood from the SM Martin. And full with cattle turning it and everything. I don't know if you can get those <laughs> cattle, but uh, we'll have to use some of the, the men yeah, okay, <laughs> from okay. SM Martin. All right. <laughs> This was part of the Bailer's house. There was a manager in this house who also named was a Mr. Richardson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friend's name is Mr. Richardson. <laughs> and uh, there's a hurricane bunker. Uh -huh. When there's hurricanes, naturally, you have to go and shelter. And this is going to be restored too. Okay. But this building, it's all belongs to the Bailer's house, where from the cane mill, that is on that plateau, on that little hill there. Yeah. They used to grind the cane. Right. And with funnel and spouts, it used to go to the boiler's house and there be boiled to molasses and sugar. So this is... So you're is telling me sugar used to be produced on this right estate? Right here. In its raw form or crystallized, ground? Or I think it's more in its raw form. Raw form. I, I, I never went into deep in that. Detail, yeah. okay. All right. And then there's also um, some other <coughs> ruins on the uh, property. Yeah, we have uh, the ruin of the doctor's house, Mr. Milad, uh -huh. and, and the first clinic. Was he a local doctor or...? No, he was... Uh, he came from Europe. Okay. His name was Milad, and he had his clinic under his building. That uh -huh. is also we're going to restore. 
and he has a nice old system and he had a beauty a beautiful house with the, um, and it was thatched yeah but it was wonderful and okay. uh, we know exactly how much rooms were in that house he also had a nice outside kitchen that you could have walked from the kitchen to the main building and that is going to be restored in that same form. All right. And what else do we have? We have a structure over there. Yeah, this is now Dr. Millard building. Let me see that. His dwelling. Okay, yeah. With oh, this whole thing? This whole thing here with a kitchen. Uh -huh. Yeah. The kitchen on top, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And underneath was his clinic. This is the system from Dr. Millard. And it's one of, it was a typical old slavery system. Here you have the opening and then it's full of water, the water runs out. The overflow? Yes. And this also going to be built back with white lime in the same original way as it, uh, as it was. Up here we also have, we have another one for the overflow here. Uh -huh. Up here, these up here was the floor from the kitchen. So when the kitchen is clean, also, the floor, the kitchen was on the uh, on the system. On the system, yes. Uh -huh. And these were the water holes that when you clean it, the, the water could have come out. I see. And, right. And it, the floor was built of those old handmade tiles, uh -huh, uh -huh. which we still have left in because it caved in. Yeah. We have quite a bit of them inside. Inside there still. Okay, good. And this, of course, was a step leading to the kitchen. This was a step leading to the kitchen because. Most of these houses were built that way because the person that used to work in the kitchen was a slave uh -huh. girl, uh -huh. a slave woman. Right. So they never had really access to the main building. And the well and a spring that it has on this historical spot. Uh -huh. This is the well that was built at the beginning of the estate from Emilia Wilson in the 1600s. Uh -huh. And we're going to... Uh, um, repair it and there's going to be a windmill on it that used to be before. Oh yes, yes. Uh -huh. This is a project that yet have to be adopted but we are sure that we're going to get things in place that we can restore it as it was. Okay. And how deep you think this well is? I really do not know. And there's a great big tree in there too. A pity we have to remove. You have to remove that too. Yeah. Well, I, it took a hell of a long time for that tree to grow that big anyway. Yes. Yeah. This store is to help you understand the difference in preserving St. Martin. Let me ask you now, how, how did, where did this idea come from, this tremendous idea? Now, this has all to do with my, our old books we have in our office that dates back to 1810. We have fully is described all the properties in St. Martin. Also, all the plantations, all the names of the slaves, how much slaves were living there, how much thatch houses were on that plantation, what was in the thatch houses, what was in the plantation houses, from A until Z, these information are documented. Uh -huh. And that is where we, I got the idea from to put a group together to erect this part of the history of our island, uh -huh. the island that all of us love. Yes. And, uh, that is what it's going to be. Right. What is the significance of all of it, though? The significance of all of this is to give the people of St. Martin uh, a basis, a big part of their history, and the basis part is to show the world that this is a big part of our culture, we're going to rebuild it, and that is what we're going to build on. And it gives you strength and courage to go ahead mm. and I think that when you have a good foundation a special your history I think it means a lot right. yeah. now we also have a stream running in here uh, what's going to be done with that we're going to do a lot with this stream we are studying the best uh, the best way to purify this water to filter this water that comes all up from south ward St. Peter's. Here used to live prawns before and, oh. and, and mud fish. Okay. And we're going to put them back in here. Okay, that's good. And uh, but we are now waiting on some studies to see which is the best way to filter this water and bring it to a certain level. Right. And in case of hurricanes or too much of water come, we can let the water flow out. So like sluices or something. Yes. So oh. it's it's going to be 
we, we has everything in form how we're going to do it uh -huh. and uh, in place how we're going to do it and then uh, we uh, just have to put a file in touch on it okay which by the way this project will be get financed also by the people in Marvin. <laughs> okay good now before we get down to the thatch houses or the, the the watch house and the other things that you're building down there let me ask you this um, when you got this idea in your head did you see it to be a tremendous task or was it just something that you thought no this got to be done and whatever it takes I'm gonna do it the or we are gonna do it the tremendous task I saw was to get the people in place or a board in place who want to execute this project to help me execute this project and I got those people in place that was the biggest headache that I had because before that I made my I knew Wilson and Mr. Wilson now for years. Uh -huh. And the first thing I asked him about this property to donate it to us or whatsoever, the first question he asked me, he said, Mr. Patrick, do you have enough people in place to execute this? I said, yes, I do. And I gave him the names, he said, okay. Uh -huh. And he d donated this property to the people of St. Martin. When you were driving on the main road, the L.B. Scott Road, you see a number of projects under construction. Let's get to the first one that you see, and that is a sort of a house, a little house. What is that? That is a watch house. Um, many of these houses were on the plantation after slavery, and the slaves got some money to buy their own pieces of plantation. Uh, that watch house played an important role. Patrick, excuse me, are there any nails and other um, material used here other than fibers? We use some nails and um, some screws just for the good reinforcement. Mm -hmm. But the most we use is rope. Rope, yeah. Um, uh, we're going to put more rope on all of these uh, pieces of wood. And, uh, so most of it is going to be covered by rope. Yeah, and the, the, part, the part that's open downstairs? They're going to stay open. No, that stays open. Yeah, we, Ventilation? Yes. Plus we put the stones around it which are going to be filled with white lime. Oh, okay. In case of that the water from above doesn't flow. True, okay. All right. Yeah. Played an important role is that um, it was placed, built on their property, and in that house they used to store their their tools. They said it is a hoe, a rake. Or they used to store some of their provisions, and they also used to cook it in that house. Something they used to sleep there through, and something they used to teach their children. How to plant potatoes, cassava, which is the poisonous cassava, which is not the poisonous cassava. So, in that watch house, a lot took place of our history. Yeah. Why? Why the? Uh, why would you call it a watch house then? A watch house. It was also in this way that they used to watch their plantation, guard their plantation. Mm -hmm. In this way, you know, because um, they don't want nobody to come and take their potatoes or their yams. Or Yes, or whatsoever, you know. Right, right. So it was uh, you could say a guard house and a watch house together. Yeah. And if they're tired, they used to sleep there. And, uh, and mostly also when they, if they were bachelors, they used to live there. So. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Until the tra transition period came, they moved out of these kind of houses in the wattle house. Okay. And the wattle house is a decent house that they could afford to build. And this wattle house is a uh, main, this is the cornerstone after slavery of most of your grandparents, my grand, born in one of those houses. Right. And um, it's very important to our history. So everything goes around this wattle house. Right. Are there, is there a cemetery on this land, on this, on this yes. estate? Yes, yes. I'm not going to show you where it is. Okay. I'm going to have to ask the permission of Emilia Wilson. Uh -huh. But it's not on this spot. Okay, okay. It's further... That, that should remain sacred, I believe. Yes. Uh -huh. and, uh, we're going to do something about that. Okay, good. And further as well, we're going to cut the tracks up the hill to the slave 
caves where they used to run when they used to hide it. Okay. And that part also going to be executed for emancipation day. Yeah. Is that is that the, the cave where one titi somebody one hid? Titi Loki, yes. yes, one yes. titi Loki, yeah. Yes, and my friend Mr. Remu going to give a full detail about that. Uh, that. John Pierre Remu. Good, good, good. Make a day right now. Now, ironically enough, we were talking about the watch house. But there were tools in there, there were several other things in there, except for what it was called, a watch house. Yeah. How, you How did that come about? Um, that, that came all about when they got their piece of land on a plantation. I also read in one of those old books, they have old pistols, for instance, uh -huh. in one of those houses, which is also documented. And uh, that came about because a lot of them were not married. Slaves, whether it was a woman or a man, you know, and um, it came all about now. We got to begin to work on our future, and the most cheapest thing was such a guard house, watch house. It does not leak. It's very conditioned <laughs> due to the fact that the opening it's not fully touched. So it plays a big role in our historic part. Uh -huh. And it all came about that. OK. Now, there are, other, there are some other structures that are going up. Are those also documented? Or are you putting those there as shades for? They, they also are documented, but not in the form that they actually are now. I mean, in this way, they are placed there because in, in an old drawing of, 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 of La Medjure Fallberg from 1600, from the retreat, you saw on that drawing a lot of these, we call them slave sheds. Okay. And they are going to be used for uh, recreational uh, uh, purposes or non recreational purposes. They're going to be benches and tables made out of old wood, they're going to be placed in them. Which project is adopted already. And so people can come and sit under them and, and, and relax and uh, right. enjoy. A part of your roots. <laughs> okay. And now, you, now that you mentioned made out of old wood, the 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 construction that's going on. I notice you're using all Mother Earth's um, um, products, and um, there's nothing mixed there like cement and all of that. No. Where did is is, is this a hundred percent Saint Martin product? It's the ninety percent Saint Martin products. All most of the wood uh, we cut from in the hills, and those wood that. Uh, are partly in the ground. We order those wood from Guyana. Those wood are called Wallaba wood. Wallaba, yeah. It does not rotten. And so this structure can remain for hundreds of years. And that is the intention. Right. And, and so it's, uh, it's a site that uh, school children, young and old, can come and relax under and, and, and they can, yeah do what it wants uh -huh, uh -huh. on a piece of property that was toiled, worked, sweat for in the years of slavery. Uh -huh. I noticed also that you're rebuilding some uh, rock walls out in the front. You're rebuilding those walls. They're looking very nice. How, how, how is that coming? Very good. It's, uh, it's uh, a builder. He came from Haiti. And we gave him the job to rebuild those walls because we want them exactly as it was. Uh, we are doing everything according to our documents in our office, and according to Mr. Wilson that uses property as a cattle plantation. Uh -huh. So everything is done according to written documents and documented documents. Right. Earlier you mentioned that uh, they planted um, peas and, and, and tanya and all those kind of things here. Is that also your intention, to yes. have a small... Uh... It's everything that was planted by the slaves on this plantation will be planted here. So you're going you're gonna to have that too? Yes. A vegetable garden, so to speak? Yes. And uh -huh. there are going to be arrow roots, cassava, sweet potato, yams, cane, all kind of... Uh, and all the wood, the trees of St. Martin, going to be planted here. We have a lot of them here, but we're going to plant all kind of trees that grows in St. Martin. With a, which is going to be written on the trees, what kind of a tree, tree it is. is. Yeah. Very, very good, very good. Now, while walking around with you, I stumbled on a piece of pottery. 
Are you going to have an archaeologist come by here and do some studies before uh, everything is covered over? Yes, our intention is not to touch uh, around the buyer's house, not the doctor's house, until we get such a person, uh, um, archaeologist. Ar archaeologist, to investigate certain things for us so that everything uh, we find, we can put them together, and which is going to be in an exposition in one of these houses, whether uh -huh. it's a doctor's house or the buyer's house, but this is our intention. Okay. So we are not going to touch none of these rooms, rooms until we get a certain person in place that can do this investigation for yeah. us. How far are you from terminating this project, when it will come to its full completion? <clears throat> the first phase is going to be completed for the 1st of July. Mm -hmm. The second phase we hope also to complete by Emancipation Day, the year 2003. Uh -huh. So you figure by 2003 this project should be at its completion, it full got, completion? It got to, and this is going to be completed with the monies from we the people of St. Martin. Okay. This is limestone sand that uh, we're going to use to rebuild the water house and the oven. We're going to build an old time oven too. Uh -huh. So this is some of the material that we're going to use. Is that found here? It's, it's here, but um, um, it takes a lot of time to burn it because it's actually made out of stones that you have to burn oh. with certain wood, uh -huh. which we're going to demonstrate uh, on the on the ninth of and now we go back well on this evening's program we are back at the Emilia Wilson Historical and Cultural Park to witness just what Watling is and we also spoke to Patrick under the further development of the Historical and Cultural Park stay tuned we'll be right back at the other end of these commercials. Patrick, good morning. We're back here on the historical cultural park, the Emilia Wilson Park. And I noticed behind now you have started with uh, what uh, is called the Wattle House. Very interesting way in building walls. Can you explain that a little bit for us? Now, yes, you see, this is the so this is a water house. Uh, as I said already, uh, a decent house after the thatch house, after slavery that the slaves got free and they had earned some money. This is one of the first decent house they lived in uh -huh. after sale, um, slavery. You can see they're busy wattling. What's your name? My name George. Your name George. Where are you uh, from, George? Jamaica. I noticed you doing the wattling on the uh, on the uh, the wattle house that is being um, uh, presently uh, constructed. Yes, you sure. did this work before. Yes, I do it in Jamaica. Oh, you did it in Jamaica. Yeah, I born guns to my father and uh, mother living in one of these houses. Living in one of them. Yes, and what? We used to go in the bushes and cut brooms and sweep out the house just like this. Uh -huh. Sometimes it spread bug. Uh -huh. And also override of just take off the coal off of the earth. Right. And then you, I grew up and find my mother. My uh -huh. father living in one of those also. I see my father do it all the time. Build full coal, build house. And so you learn it from, from small? Yeah, from small. Uh -huh. And so the floor is not a solid floor and it's, it's a sand floor? Yes, it's a, a sand dirt floor. floor, dirt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, not sand, dirt. Yeah. Natural dirt like this. Yes, yes, yes. yes yeah. uh -huh. Well, that's good to see you do it, George. We are very proud to have you here. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yeah. Thank All right. you very much. Thank you. Okay. You have all the right people in place here. You got this guy from Jamaica who actually was raised in a wattle house. And then, of course, knowing to build it. Is anybody from St. Martin learning this trade? Yes, I especially put a St. Martin beside him. He's a young Ricky. Uh -huh. He's a young fellow. Ricky yeah. Illich. Uh -huh. He's a young fellow he's from middle region. Stand up next to him there, yeah. Right, yeah. And we got another gentleman from St. Martin too, Mr. Bozeman. These uh -huh. are the two young St. Martiners here who are watching this very carefully uh -huh. and learning the trade so that later they can bring it over to their kids or to the people of St. Martin. Right, possibly even go to the schools and uh, teach them how this is done. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How you feel doing this, George? Uh, Ricky. It's Ricky, a, sorry, it's, yeah. It's an interesting project, and it's first I work on these projects, 
and I hope in the future the ch we the generation will take it over and put a lot more into it into into, into Saint Martin. Yes, yes, that is very very nice. And uh, it's going to be a beauty, you know. According to our books, those houses were cool and and warm and and uh, breezy. Uh -huh. But when completed, it's going to be completed in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And St. Martin is going to have an extra beautiful water house on the island. I agree with you. That's going to be very, very unique. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I noticed that the, the, the pieces of wood, what you call wattling, they just called wattling a while ago. But is that going to be covered because you can see through that? It's going to be, from the outside, it's going to be, for the most, covered. Uh -huh. And 100% uh, uh, covered. Inside, we're going to leave uh, partly open to let the people see exactly how the water fits in uh -huh. but it's going to be water closed okay watertight yeah from outside right um what about the interior is that going to be also uh, furnished with the at the time the 17th 18th century furniture yes okay so we are trying to gather all kind of a old time beds uh -huh. we, we need an, an old time bed and some old time basins and uh, a couple of poles. And we got certain other things al already, but we are looking for a special bed from that time. Right. And the fundraiser that was recently held, uh, how much did you raise if you want to disclose that to the public? $10,000 uh -huh. was raised. We only had tickets for 15, pe 1,500 people, uh -huh. and over the 6,000 people passed through that gate. 6,000? Yes. Well, that is a very, very good number, and uh, as a matter of fact, that, that shows that people are interested in the uh, historical park. They are, I tell you. Yeah. The whole day, all the board members was busy speaking with people. Yeah. And we love it. What was very nice that day is that uh, the owner, Mr. Emilio Wilson, was most present. Yes, he, he said he was going to be there, and he, he was there. Yeah, very, very beautiful. What's your next move after the Wattle House, After Patrick? After the Wattle House is going to be the slave, the f one of the first slave schools, uh -huh. and the tax house. Okay, and that's right next to the Wattle House there? Yes. Right. We also had the opportunity to talk to Alan and Junior, who were in charge of a very special event in St. Martin, namely the pig in the ground. But we're going to let them explain you all about it. Uh, we have with us Alan and Junior there in the background. And we understood uh, just a while ago that you were the ones responsible for the pig in the ground. And that it's a cultural event that takes place on most of the Caribbean islands, yet we want to stick to St. Martin. Alan, tell us, how does this whole thing start? Well, first thing you have to do is uh, you have to dig a hole. Mm -hmm. um, all depends on what size uh, the pig are, usually four to five feet. And you usually put some uh, old galvanized on the bottom of the hole. Mm -hmm. And you put some stones in there. Uh, stones, not too big, but uh, reasonable size stones. And you put the, the wood, and of course you light, you light the wood and you, you wait until uh, all the rocks are really hot. Mm -hmm. That'll be real hot. And all the wood is all burned down. And uh, then you, you put banana, banana trees in, on top of the rocks. And you put the pig then into a wire mash with banana leaves and uh, we like put chicken wire. Chicken wire. Uh -huh. And then, then we put, um, of course, mango leaves because that gives the pig a very good flavor. Okay. And uh, after all the fires burn down, we put the, the pig on top of the banana trees, and we put leaves on top again, and we put the the, the crocus bags. You mm -hmm. take the crocus bags and wet them because you want to get the steam in there. Right. And uh, after you put the crocus bags, you put the uh, leaves again on it and you cover it. Some people put like a canvas over that, not for the dirt to get to the pig. Okay. And then you cover it back with sand and usually um, five to six hours. All depends on how big the pig are and um, just leave it here. And, uh, yeah. And you can normally, normally they leave that there overnight so they'll be prepared for another day. Exactly. Uh -huh. Well, it all depends on if you have the picnic in the day, you'll do it in the morning. Right. Uh, vice versa. Uh -huh. And, uh, but the pig really comes up moist <coughs> and nice. I mean, you don't have to use a knife or anything on it. I oh, mean, you can just tear the flesh. Just take it up like that. Uh -huh. And that's what that's what the whole idea is about. That yeah. um, it's, it's very soft. What is it actually called? What's the official name for that? Pig in the ground? What is it? I'm 
sure there's a special name for it because like in Hawaii, I've already have a special name for it. Uh -huh. We here, uh, we just, for the time, we call it pig in the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pig in the ground, you know. Right. Junior, you, uh, what is your part in this? Do you season the meat? Uh, do you season the pig? What, what is your whole part well, in this? Basically, pig in the ground? yeah, I was in charge of cleaning up the meat and um, seasoning it up with uh, a lot of garlic, uh, fresh herbs, and um, make, making sure it's... Uh, the the, the 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 weight uh -huh. the, the, the weight for the pig right it, it was you know make sure that the, the hole was a perfect size okay, and all yeah. that kind of stuff uh -huh, like that uh -huh. yeah and when when do you think we're going to see this again uh definitely for emancipation day okay. we're going to have we're going to have a big 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 cocoa day and uh definitely we'll have more food than we had last time because we kind of ran out from food last time yeah well, not yeah, knowing how much people too. was how much people was going to come through uh -huh. We um, prepared for a thousand people. We had about five thousand people that came yeah. in. So this time we will make sure that we got enough for everybody. I guess we had a fight for that meat. Exactly. Everybody was running behind Johnny. Like, uh, like, oh, Johnny, like, you were the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I dug the pig out of the, out of the soil. Oh, when, when mean, it came it was, out of the soil. It was like a, like somebody following a, a funeral procession. We uh -huh. from time I dug, with, I dug the pig out and right. I lifted it up. To go with it, I mean, it's like a line of people just follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a pity we missed filming that, though, but uh, we'll be around for the next one, uh, Marlon. Well, I hope so, because it's um, it's a very nice thing to see. I mean, a lot of people in St. Martins have never seen anything like that. Yeah. And uh, it'll be nice for the people to see how it is, and uh, I, I hope you'll be here the next time. That, uh, we plan on doing a, a side of beef also. Oh, a side of beef, too. Yeah. Great, besides, great. Besides, because maybe not all everybody would like to eat the pork. The pork, yeah, correct. So we'd have some beef and maybe... Uh, uh, I try a smaller hole with some fish also. Yeah, that would be and great. And then we're gonna bake some of the vegetables also together along with the meats in the in the in the, in the soil also. Okay, good, good, so, good. I mean, it'll be a real, yeah. real, 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 real. That's spot. what you call a mother mother earth oven. That's right. Yeah. Well, okay. Thank you, gentlemen, very much for explaining us here on profiles how it's done, and hopefully uh, when you're ready to do it again, you'll give us a call so we don't miss it this time. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope you'll be here. Yeah, I definitely will. Give me a call, Johnny. Thanks right. a lot. You're welcome, sir. You have a wish, um, Patrick. What is that wish? That wish is I would like to invite many of the school children of all the schools in St. Martin and together with, with their teachers as soon as possible to come up and learn a little of the trade of wattling and touching. It's an experience for them, another sight in their life, and I hereby ask the schools to come in with their kids any time of the day. We're going to make sure that certain people are available so that we can explain and the kids will see from, from, from themselves how, what, what lives. I hate to keep disturbing you, but uh, questions keep popping up uh, as I look at the uh, building. This is all being built to uh, original specifications that you have in your documentations at Cadastro, right? Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Everything. And, yeah, these were provided by who? Um, the, what we are using here? Yeah. Now, the, most of the wood came from, uh, came from the hills of St. Martin. Uh-huh. Uh, we have to cut them on certain moons that it doesn't get uh, rotting. Oh, uh -huh. You cannot cut them on, on, on full moon, for instance. You've got to cut them on dark moon. Uh -huh. And we, we reinforced uh, this house with uh, Walaba posts yes, that, yeah. that we bought from Guyana. Uh -huh. Those Walaba posts, they will never rot in. They could go over the 500 years. So this build, all of the buildings are well um, and reinforced mm -hmm. and, and we're using the right kind of material so that it can be there for a couple of hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately for Profiles of the Winter Islands, the day we visited the Emilia Wilson Historical and Cultural Park, guess who came along? The Governor General of the Netherlands Antilles, Mr. Jaime Saleh. And we had a chance to talk to him as well. It's made, it's all made out of, uh, uh, all the wood we are using, mm -hmm. the sticks, mm -hmm. are from the hills. Oh. Also the posts for the roof. Everything is uh, from here. Yeah, we reinforced it with yeah. wa Wallabap posts from Guyana. Uh -huh. and, and, and so that uh, a category hurricane too will, cannot damage it. Uh, okay. And um, inside it's going to be, uh, the floor is going to be from dirt, a kind of a clay. Mm -hmm. Outside, 
it's going to be wa uh, water there mm -hmm. that no rain can penetrate inside mm -hmm. and we're going to cover those sticks from the outside with white lime mm -hmm. white lime is something is is short coral mm -hmm. the lz cry and die verbrand je tot 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 en met een speciale manjeneel wood die like like they did it in the past yes yes and 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 the color comes just like that color from that house you see where those steps are it got the always it's going to be a little gray okay and 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 that is the and it has two rooms a living room and a bedroom the wood the the roof is going to be from touch Read it off. Just like those that we all saw in the video. Yeah, yeah. People. Yeah, some of them are not all of them. Morning, how are you doing? Morning, morning, how are you? How's everything going? Smile. Fine? Yeah. This is stronger than a house. It's like a brick here. It's like a brick here. It's like a brick here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was Sir Martin. Sir Martin. That's somebody came out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Governor General, may I disturb you just for a second? Yes. Now that you've been explained the uh, the outline and the purpose of this project, what do you think of it? It's a beautiful project, you know. I think uh, we are a little bit too late with this project, uh -huh. but nothing too is too late. So I'm very happy to see that they pick up initiative and the people are working on that. I talked to the people over there, you saw it. Yeah. And they are very, very enthusiastic on what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Material, local material, buildings, things go back in history and let the youngsters come in here to see what our history is. Yes. And you learn from the history and you can go, do, go into the future, but knowing your history. Mm -hmm. And that is very important and I hope that the, the whole community will be involved in this, they will accept it as a, as a kind of uh, monument of the past and that uh, particularly that the young boys and girls will be coming here and enjoy it like it is now. A very good initiative and project. Thank you very, very Thank much. Thank you. And hope to uh, see you soon back in Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. What you don't know can hurt the environment. The only effect is by tremendous job that you're doing here on the uh, Emilio Wilson Park. And uh, I want to urge everybody to support you whenever you come to them to please support Patrick. And uh, have you been getting support readily? Enormous. Enormous support. Enormous. And the people Great. love it. Tell uh -huh. you, they love it. And uh, that is why so much of people was here uh, on the ninth for the fundraising, uh -huh. which we totally miscalculated. Right. We only had food for about uh, 1,500 people, mm -hmm. you know, and 6,000 6, came. Right, right. So, so you don't have time to interest. beef it up. Oh, yes. We're going, <laughs> to, we're going to be well prepared another time. Yeah, and you said that you're going to have 10 pigs. Remember to call <laughs> me on time. And I want to know that's done. Maybe it'll be about 5 or 6, I don't know, about 10. But, yeah, uh, because um, that, that uh, pig in the ground is something that uh, we want to document. Oh, the people wanted to buy quarters. As soon as I came out, they said they want this quarter. Yeah, yeah. They want it. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> enormous. It was. That was impossible, yeah. yeah. Good, Patrick. Okay, do I thank you? Yeah. Um, senior citizens or the older folks have set a trend for us in St. Martin and you certainly have been working in this area for as long as I know you. That's right. Now you're still growing yes. on a different location. What right. are you growing today? I'm growing right now, as corn. you see it, yeah. carrot. Yeah, carrots. I'm growing corn and I uh, have a few sweet pepper, pigeon peas and potato. Pigeon peas and potatoes. Uh, I also see a lot of uh, papaya. And you see some papaya trees back up in there. Right. And um, what would be your advice to all of us who are viewing profiles of the Winter Islands and perhaps many other programs, local programs? What would be your advice since we're going separate status? My advice, my dear, as always, the land, no matter how much tourism we really have, let us not forget the land. This was had been given to us from our Creator from the very beginning of time that the land is there for us to use, no matter how small it is. Times are getting difficult, and it will become even worse. Let us plant our guinea corn. Let us plant our gray corn. Yeah. Let us plant our potato. 
potato New Year's gone by, as you see this time, we would have been eating a lot of potato pudding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But from St. Martin, today we are not producing anything. We are too much dependent on everything that comes from outside. Yeah, yeah.